Inside of this video, it's roughly 10 minutes long. This is a snippet of a live training that myself and my team hosted inside of our Six Figure Accelerator community. In that community, we do at least one to two coaching calls every single week. Most times of the year, we're doing two calls every single week. Those calls go from anywhere from one to two hours and we are cover, covering every, everything, right? So we're going through topics that people are struggling with. And then if you have any questions and you're in the program, you can unmute yourself and chat to myself and my team. So in this video, what you're going to see is a bit of a snippet of a training where we looked at outreach. Okay, outreach is one of the things that most people struggle with in their agency and building their social media business, right? If you do not have a good outreach system and you can't effectively target the right people to get them onto a call to then pitch your services to sign clients, you're gonna struggle for a very, very long time. So just know this is a snippet. You won't see the entire full training that is exclusive for our members. But I wanted to show you this, give you a teaser, give you a look at what it's like. And if you do want to join the program, there will be a link below. Feel free, uh, book a call if you have any doubts, and we'll see you soon. The title of the presentation, How to Fix Your Outreach, okay? All right, guys, so you want your calendar to look like this, right? You want to have sales calls coming in, ideally, uh, multiple every week. When we look at the average close rate, meaning that if you have 10 calls, okay, you're typically going to see maybe three of those convert to clients, right? That's when we take an average between someone who is amazing at sales and might have a really high close rate where they might be able to close 40, 50, or even 60% of the calls that they take compared to someone who might be brand new to sales, not much experience, where if you can close two out of 10, that's pretty good. But just so you know, 30% is that rough average that we're, we're looking for, okay? So if you have set yourself a goal of, let's say you want to get one client a week, you know you need to be getting roughly let's say three calls a week okay and then if you say hey i want to get just two clients a month cool we need to aim for about maybe six seven or eight calls and that should put us in that position okay so that's what we're going to go over the entire goal of us fixing your outreach in this in this training is is to get calls okay that's all we're trying to do here and so we're going to go through uh just some groundwork before we get into the bottlenecks okay as i mentioned right there Outreach is simply to book in calls, okay? Outreach alone is not going to get you a client, okay? So when, when we look at getting a client, there's multiple stages, okay? So if we want to break it down, we can theoretically say stage one is you find prospects, right? You find businesses that you think would be a good fit to work with you. And the second part is outreach, right? So that's what we're going to focus on here. But just know that the third part is having a call, right? And after that, you might even close them directly on the call. You might have to follow up with them and then potentially close a deal. So outreach is just one piece in this greater scheme of getting you clients. And the main goal, as I mentioned, is to get you calls, okay? I just want to, I want to really emphasize that with you guys. Outreach is purely to get calls. It's not to get you a client, right? It's not to... Uh, you know, chat back and forth with someone on Instagram and sell your services directly over text message. Yes, you can do that. Do people do it with great success on a large scale? No, All right? On a large scale, it comes down to messaging businesses and the sole goal being getting them to book a call with you, okay? So at this stage, most of you are familiar with that. That whole process of discovery calls, strategy calls, essentially just calling it whatever you want to call it, a free call where you can have a chat with a business owner, diagnose their problems, and hopefully sell them your solution, which is your service. Cool, cool. Um, just for anybody who might be new, if any of that is unclear, like I mentioned at the start, feel free to drop questions in as we're going through this, and I'll make sure to clarify anything if you don't understand it. Cool. All right, so as I mentioned, guys, outreach isn't just a message, right? It's a process, okay? And it's really clear to understand this because if you just view outreach as a message, right, as one script or one type of message, it's going to be very hard for you to, to optimize that and to get calls and to get clients. When you can kind of step back from it and, and see it from the, the, let's say, the bird's eye view, it's, it's a lot more than that. Okay, so just some points to get us started here. Now, point one is that you, one of your goals of outreach, okay, is to try and help your prospects genuinely. Okay, because we often, you know, when we get started with, with SMMA, right? And you, you start your agency, you want to sell, right? You want to make money. That's probably why you're here. But to make money, we have to help people. You know, there's a direct correlation between if you can help a business, they will pay you. 
So you really have to get clear on the fact that, yes, we do want to make money and we do want to get clients, but we do have to serve them first, right? We do have to help them genuinely. Okay, so that might mean that you give them some tips, right? Maybe it's you share some new insights, you share some strategies with them, but you never want to think or feel entitled that the business owner should pay you. Okay, we see this quite often. I definitely experienced this a lot myself when I started off. I had this constant this constant feeling of why are businesses not responding to me? Why are they not uh, booking calls with me? And why am I not getting clients? And you can probably tell from my language there, I was uh, looking at things that were external, right? I was, I was blaming it on why is the business not working with me? Or why do business owners not want my service? And that wasn't the issue. Obviously, I had, to, I had to realize that the hard way. The issue was I wasn't helping them enough. You know, I wasn't providing enough value and I wasn't giving them enough of a reason to say, hey, Adam, I'm going to pay you. So that's really when things will change for you, which are outreach. It's when you, when you realize it's when you serve, you value, deliver first, and then hopefully get some clients on the back end. Okay. So second point is you don't want to sell them anything. As I mentioned at the start of this training, the purpose of outreach is to book you calls, not to sell your service, not to get clients, right? Simply to get a call booked in. A key thing that you need to know is that you have to talk about their problems, right? And not just maybe your experience as a marketer or things you've done before, right? You want to really get deep into those problems. And yeah, just another point before we move forward is you need to have an appropriate sample size. Okay, so not, not trying to make this complex, but let's say you've sent out five messages or 10 messages, right? And you haven't gotten really any positive responses. Nobody seems too interested in what you're doing. It's not enough, right? It's not enough for us to say that script doesn't work or that type of message is not going to get us clients, right? We have to look at volume as well as obviously sending good messages. But if you've only sent 50 or 100 messages, don't even, don't even start to think, you know, it's not working or I need to change my script. Like that's not a lot of messages. You know, you need to get the volume in, get the reps in, and then we can obviously look at the script after we've seen, you know, 50, 100 messages, and we can kind of work backwards from there. And if it's not working, we can obviously change it. And just to put some numbers on that, guys, there's there's kind of two, two kind of thoughts when it comes to outreach, okay? So my agency uses a quantity approach, all right? So we send a lot of messages. Our script is good, but it's not the best in the world, right? It's very short. It's very easy to follow. And we can get our virtual assistants to, to do a lot of it every single day. Okay, so we, we focus on quantity. Other agency owners, and we've got a few in this program, may focus more on quality, right? So they may not send many messages a day. They might only send 10 messages a day, whereas my agency might send 100 or 150. They might only send 10 a day, but they're focusing on the quality, right? They want to have a very long conversation, right? Very long conversation, very personal, maybe even throwing some voice messages back and forth. Whereas my agency is different. So I want you to be clear on that as well. You can have a quality approach where you only message a small number of businesses and you really try and just get that personal connection with them or you take the quantity approach. I'm not going to tell you what's better because what's better depends on where you're at now. For my agency, when I started, to be honest, it was very personal. It was very long messages. And the goal there was to just, you know, me do it every day, right? There was nobody else doing it. So it was like, I'm going to do it every day. I'll spend as no, enough time as I need to, okay? Whereas as I started to get some clients in, I realized that that wasn't scalable, right? I very quickly realized I can't do that forever. You know, if if doing outreach relies on me sitting down for three hours a day, I'm never going to be able to scale this. You know, I'm only going to get so far with that. So that's when we had to take the approach of quantity. We had to say, you know what? That whole personal approach works so well, like really damn well, but it's not going to get us to the next level. So I had to kind of strip that away. I had to build out a script, right? A very short messages. I had to then get a VA, a virtual assistant to follow that and do that every day. Okay. So I just want to make that clear as well, guys. Um, we're going to talk about quantity and quality. And ideally when you're starting, I would recommend that you blend the two. Okay. So you send, you know, there's, there's no set number, right? But you don't want to be sending five messages a day, but you shouldn't be sending 200 a day when you're starting. You want to get somewhere in the middle. Uh, you want to put a lot of time and effort into the messages you're sending, and really key, as I mentioned, you need to have a good sample size before we decide if we need to change the script or change how we're actually going about our outreach, okay? So enough of uh, me kind of setting the scene, guys, uh, but I hope that made sense. Uh, there's six main bottlenecks in your outreach, okay? So again, 
if you are currently doing outreach, you're sending messages and you're not getting calls, the, the thought that's going to come into your head, because it came into my head, was one, this doesn't work. Two, these business, uh, these business owners don't ever want to pay for my service. Um, and, and three, what the hell is going wrong, right? And I didn't know where to start. Didn't know where to look, right? I just thought it's not working. Black and white, that's it. When we break it down, there's a lot more to it. There's actually these six rough stages for your outreach. Now, look, you could break this down into maybe seven or eight. This is just a rough overview. So the first bottleneck that you have to solve if you're not currently getting results is how do I get someone to actually see my message, right? So if you use Instagram, for example, for your outreach, when you send a message to a business that doesn't follow you, right? And there's no mutual connection there. Your message will go into their requests, right? And if you've ever gotten a, a message from a random person on Instagram, you'll know what that looks like, right? Oftentimes you won't even see it. It might take you a few days to see it in your inbox. And what actually happens here is that when someone clicks on a request, it won't mark it as seen unless they click accept on the message. Okay, so this is the first bottleneck we're going to look into. Second is once someone has seen your message and opened your message, how do we get them to respond? Right. Um, you know, if, if you're if you're like me, I've been left on seen many times in my life. And that happens with your outreach as well. Many people are going to see your message, open it, never respond back to you. Third is we've got to keep the conversation going, right? It's one thing to get someone to respond back, right? To that first message. But this, the bigger issue is how do we keep that going, right? Because we don't want a dead lead. We don't want someone to say, yeah, cool, I'm interested. And then we send a message and it's dead, right? We don't ever hear from them again. Four is we've got to now send on our case study or something for free, okay? You don't have to send a case study, right? My agency, we use a case study. You could use a let's say an ebook, if you have a free ebook, maybe you have a audit that you want to offer to a business, or maybe you don't have anything and you just want to pitch a free call. Okay. So, so this point number four is not going to apply to everyone, but for those of you that use a, a free case study, a free report, a free asset that you offer to them before the call, you definitely need to pay attention to that. Point five is getting your calls booked in. And that's not it, right? Because when you book a call, it's not guaranteed that they're going to show up for your call. I don't have figures to tell you how many people show up to calls, but I know in my agency last week, I think we had about 14 calls and we had at least three no-shows. Okay. So that's, I don't know, like eight, 9%, something like that, uh, which is okay. Right. It, it could be better, but this is an issue in itself. Okay. So we're going to get into all of this. Um, and I'm going to get Ty to hop in for a sec as we've got this uh, pretty cool graph that kind of breaks down this process even more. Uh, for those of you that are visual learners, this will probably help so that you can kind of see doing your outreach is a funnel, right? Again, it's not just, it's is it working or is it not? There's a whole process to get it to work that we have to look at. So as mentioned, guys, that awesome. was just yeah. a snippet of one of those live trainings that we host every single week. If you do want to get involved and join the Six Figure Accelerator program, you can go down below, click the link and join us now. Right now, we're running a special offer. The price will probably not be this low in the near future. Okay, we routinely increase the price of the program as we bring on more students. And with that, I have to bring on more team members to make sure that we serve our students to the best capacity. So if you do want to join, click the link, get in now. If you have any doubts, click the link below as well to book in a call and I will chat to you very soon.